Hi everyone, it's Mary from Cahota, and I'm here to share with you some ideas on how to use meetup.com to find new hobbies and new friends uh, in, in retirement. So whether you're planning ahead for retirement or you already retired, meetup, meetup.com is a great resource for um, activities that, and uh, to meet people who are doing things that you like to do. So if you haven't been to meetup.com before, it's a website where people post at, uh, events that they're hosting, um, group activities, uh, groups can communicate through meetup.com. So whether it's a language club or a book club, uh, you might use meetup.com to attract more members. Um, and, and you may also use meetup.com to uh, find new activities. So that's what we're going to really focus on today, how to find new activities using meetup.com. So let's get right into it. So just go to meetup.com, <laughs> uh, M-E-E-T-U-P.com, just type it in your browser. And uh, when you get to the site, the first thing you're going to see are some suggestions of, you know, some popular things that they have on their site. So if you're training for a marathon and looking for people to work uh, run with. Maybe you want to learn to cook. Maybe you want to learn to build an app or hike a mountain. So um, all those are available. All these categories are available here. They also have some popular meetups that are happening soon. So um, these, um, you know, whether they're board game meetups or um, professional meetups, you can find those here. So as you can see, they have, you're already starting to see kind of quite an array of different activities that you can be doing. There's also the options to explore by category. So uh, you can start to explore all, all these on meetup.com. And you can do that before even logging in. Um, but I'm going to take you to the login experience so we can get an idea of what it is like to sign up. So I'm just going to go and hit sign up. And I'm going to sign up with my email. Okay, so I've verified my account and now I'm on the welcome screen. So I can add a photo, uh, just uploading a photo. I'm going to skip that part for now. And, or I can connect with face, Facebook. But I'm going to skip all this for now. What I really want to get to is to start pick my and pick my interests. So this is, is super great because this tailors suggestions for meetups for you. Um, it can be overwhelming the amount of meetups there are in an area. You'd be surprised. Um, and uh, so you want to try to hone in on the activities that you're most interested in. So let's say you're interested in outdoors and adventure. You're into health and wellness and photography. You like writing. Um, you're a big fan of music, arts. Maybe you want to join a book club and hobbies and crafts. Um, we know that those are great retirement activities and social activities are also uh, popular. Um, so then we're just gonna hit next. All right, now they're asking me to narrow it down. So when we're talking about out outdoors and adventure, what kind of things do I like? Well, I like bicycling, I like gardening. Sure, I like international travel, right? Weekend getaways, of course. I'm not really into cars, so I'm gonna leave that there and um, not so outdoorsy, so I'm gonna skip that. Um, health and wellness, well, who couldn't use some stress relief? Although I hope once I'm retired, that's not an issue for me, right? Um, but I'll leave it on there just, just for fun. But I'm always looking to improve myself. Um, so I'm gonna leave that there. And you know, here at Cahota, we're big fans of self-empowerment, so we're gonna leave that on there. Um, you know, maybe I want to just do photography. Maybe I want nature photography. I mean, as you can see, this gets really specific. Um, maybe I want to write that, that play, or maybe I'm retiring to write that great American novel. Um, I can find people who are also doing similar things. Um, I'm a big singer, so I'm going to put in group singing and, um, definitely theater and improv, um, and a book club. So as you can see, this is just almost like a checklist of things I want to do when I retire. So just just sitting here and going through this activity really gets you start, those juices start to flow about what you want to do when you retire. Um, then you're going to hit yet next. And now they're going to find you groups that fit that description. So um, as you, you know, as you start to look at these cards, you'll get a description of 
the meetup, a uh, quick description, how many people are in the meetup, and whether or not it's public. Um, there are some private groups. You can join some private groups, but there's usually some sort of, sometimes it's a fee, sometimes it's a um, application. I don't know about you, but almost all of these things seems exactly like what I want to be doing when I retire. And um, it just gets me so excited that there's organizations and there are, you know, tools out there like this one to um, that really get you um, the opportunity to meet other people. So as you can see, there are a lot of exciting opportunities with meetup.com. So go and check it out yourself. And then when you're done, visit kahota.com. That's K-O-H-O-T-A.com. We are a website and a platform that will help you uh, take control of your retirement planning and empower you to make those choices that you need to um, have a happy life after retirement. So uh, go to kahota.com, create an account, complete the social life and the hobbies checklist to get started on your retirement. That's all for now. See you later. Bye-bye.